Hey guys, it's Julia here, and we are back with another Windows 10 slash 11 Insider Bugs video, so say hi once again. Hello. Yes, we got Edward back, who was in the first video. Yay. He's back for the second video, because it was so funny. Now this one is a bit different. We're going to be seeing different bugs from different builds. So we have six different Insider builds. We're going to talk about a few bugs from each, maybe one for some of them. Just to make the video shorter, it's going to be like a five to ten minute video. So we're going to make this entertaining. We picked out the most funniest sounding bugs and we're going to be talking about them. So Edward, would you like to start with the first bug from Windows 10 pre-technical preview, not even Windows 10, whatever. It was build 984. Yeah. Installing NVIDIA drivers on the X64 version of this build will break DWM. What, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, I have gotten this bug to work before my main PC. I don't know if I have it on my phone. I'm not too sure though, but like, we can probably check later on. But that's the weirdest bug I've ever seen in my life. Like, why DWM? Yeah, and it says that it will be resulting in a black screen, meaning, oh, you can't use yeah. your computer. Yeah, you can't even use your computer without, without having to, like, fix it. Yeah, imagine just updating to that build and then your whole computer breaks. Like, what? Not really. It's, it's installing the NVIDIA drivers. Yeah, but what if you had that NVIDIA driver? Yeah, that, you're screwed. Yeah. Next bug mm -hmm. is from Windows 10 build 16199. Very similar to FCU, which is 16299. Just, um, you yeah. know, 100 off. So, if you're using a Surface Pro 3 or Surface 3 device, you can't update to this build unless you remove the SD card. What? Why do you have to remove an SD card to update a build? Like, explain. I don't know. What, what? Is it just going to be like, you can't have an SD card when you're installing? Like, I don't even know if you get an error. I don't know if it, what it says. I've never had this bug. I, I never had I that build. don't before. have a Surface Pro 3. I used to have a Surface oh, Pro 3. Except that build expired anyway, and it... And at the time, I didn't even have one, so... Weird error. Anyone experience that, leave a comment. Build 17093. Windows Hello does not work on Surface Laptop with this build. Oh, why? Why Windows Hello? And what did Windows Hello ever do to you? And why on a Surface? You would think it would work on a Surface and nothing else. Like, what? <laughs> Honestly, why would honestly why would you main Windows like Windows Insider stuff on the Surface yes. laptop? Also, this was Come an on. 1803 Insider because 1803 was build 17134 and this is a 17093. Oh yeah, April 2018. Yeah. Yeah. Next bug: settings will crash if theme settings page is opened. What? So you can't open your theme settings on that build? At all. Yo, have fun. Have fun. You can't change your uh, dark mode anymore. Yeah, uh -huh. I think I had that bug because I did main Insider at one point, and I think I might have had that bug, actually. I might have, and I was really confused. Plugging in an external DVD drive will crash explorer.exe. <laughs> no more DVDs for you. Screw you. Does it just crash <laughs> once, or does it just, like, crash multiple times? I think it's multiple times. I don't know why, but, like... I can't pull this off. Yeah, I can't really show all these bugs because some of these are like old and the builds are expired and I don't have them anymore. So Windows 10 build 17677, which is an 1809 insider because 1809 is 17763 and this is 17677, has the bug of remote desktop, project screen, or multiple screens can hang explore.exe. What? So... It just hangs explore if you're trying to RDP or if you're trying to project your screen or have multiple displays. What if you have multiple displays on your computer? Are you just not going to be able to use it because explore doesn't work? Yeah, pretty much. I can't test this out because, again, this is expired. And then I don't want to install an outdated build of Windows 10 inside it on my PC. Yeah, I wouldn't want to either. It. I'm fine with the way my computer is. I don't want to mess it up. You can do this on Hyper-V because you have like the extender display, I think, or like use uh, both displays, I think. I'm not too sure though. Yeah, probably. All right, probably. let's go on with the Windows 11 Insider bug. So would you like to read the first bug for build 25140? Surface Pro X devices may hit a black screen while attempting to resume from hibernation in this build. Well, you can't hibernate your PC. Oh, I meant your tablet, actually, not PC. And I'm sure most nice. tablets probably do use Hibernate. 
because it is yeah because why would you need hibernation on a desktop because that is actually quite dumb yeah i always disable hibernation on my computer true and then here's the thing why would you main an inside the build again because honestly if you're gonna be doing this please do it on a different device not your main pc i did on my main pc because i was risky but eh I, I just have, I just removed it. I have an insider testing laptop that's meant for insider builds that I don't use as a main. Just for, I just use it for testing. Mm, Shutting ahead. down Windows via the start menu may unexpectedly reboot the device in some cases. What? So you're telling me if I shut down my computer, it's just gonna restart instead of shutting down and just be like, yeah, we're just gonna reboot your computer and not shut it down like you asked us to do. Yeah, how, how do I shut my computer down? Hold the power button? Pretty much, you, what you're gonna have to do in this case, you're gonna have to, like, probably do shutdown dash s dash t. Or slash t, I meant, uh, dash zero or something like that. Or just press the power button. Yeah, if that, if that works. I mean, it does say from the start menu, so I'm sure if you found another way to <laughs> shut yeah. it down, it would work. The next build, which is the latest Insider build at the moment of recording this video, but I'm not sure when this is gonna go up, but build... 25211 and this is an interesting bug i mean there's a few bugs so the first bug is the system may fail to boot in vmware with attached network adapters what so i can't have any network on an insider build how am i gonna update the insider build the thing is you wouldn't be able to update the build if it doesn't even boot so i don't know why i said that how am I you can't that? here's the thing i actually have a vm that has a network adapter attached with that build and it's fine it may fail it doesn't say it will fail so i guess it doesn't happen to everyone yeah i guess you're gonna have to use an isl for this one whoops all right next, uh, next bug users may experience an unsupported underscore processor bug check when booting into windows in vmware or hyper v if two cores are allocated or two more are allocated if two or more cores are allocated which i've not been what what? Yeah, what? I've not been able to replicate that bug. My VM never did that, but I know other people that's had that bug, but I've not for some reason. Yeah, I think someone, uh, I can't pronounce their name, but uh, jo Julia will get like a screenshot of it if I can find it, because he's posted it lots of times all day, I'm not too sure actually. The thing is, is yeah, that I found I've, I've never experienced the bug, other people have experienced the bug, I'll show a screenshot of someone else experiencing the bug, but, like, it's just a weird bug that I guess only happens with some people or some scenarios, maybe even certain hardware, because I've even reinstalled my computer before, and I was able to you know, still use my Insider VM fine, so I think it's something hardware, maybe? So looking back at this bug, I think the reason it didn't happen to me is because I don't have Hyper-V enabled on my computer. If I did, there's a good chance this bug may have occurred for me, but yeah. yeah I don't use uh, two cores or more because like I VMware don't. always says, oh, it's going to do something to your PC or something like I that. I, have I never tried these new Insider builds on VMware or Hyper-V because meh, I don't yeah. I don't really like to use um, Insider builds that often. Well, guys, that concludes all the bugs. If there's any other bugs you guys want us to read in particular that you think are funny, leave a comment below with the bug and yeah. build, potentially the beta wiki link because it lists the bugs much more clear. I will leave links to all the builds on uh, yeah. wiki if you want to read through the bugs and all of these. But yeah, we just picked <laughs> the funny ones and wanted to make a video on that because honestly, the latest insider didn't have that many funny bugs. It only had like a few yeah. that were funny. Yeah, because we mainly just read like the funny ones in the uh, first episode. And honestly, it was actually funny, but this one eh, wasn't that funny. That build had a lot of funny bugs. So the build we did yeah. at the time had a lot of bugs and it had just gotten released recently too. It had a lot of bugs, but the recent one, they fixed a lot of bugs, and the bugs that are there now are not really funny. Like, I remember the bug that was like, the delete key may not work. Like, that was funny. Oh, God. And I actually did experience yeah. that bug later on on that VM. Nice. Besides, hopefully by then, we'll get, like, um some new funny uh bugs hopefully yeah. maybe we'll get another insider build full of bugs at some point again if you guys have any bugs leave leave a comment with the bugs we'll do another episode at some point but yeah that will conclude the insider bugs episode two so thanks for watching yeah. i hope you guys have a great day
and I'll have more videos See ya. soon. I just was really busy with school the last few weeks. All right, say bye. See ya.